Hi, my name is Tom Axtell and I'm a licensed mental health counselor with your Suquamish Wellness Center. In recognition of May being Mental Health Awareness Month and in response to the global pandemic that is impacting so many people, I'm here today to demonstrate a, a coping strategy that you can use to help manage emotional disturbance. Uh, the coronavirus is causing much distress for many. Um, fears of contracting the virus, fears of spreading the virus to loved ones, uh, disruptions in our daily routine, um, financial concerns, social isolation, and the inability to uh, connect with our what we typically use to help support ourselves, um, even fears of the unknown. All of these things are leading many to experience anxiety, depression, um, acting out behaviors, um, and these emotional disturbances can be very challenging for many people. And so what I'm going to show you today is a technique that you can use to help manage those feelings. Because, of course, with everything going on, it's important to be not only to be able to feel the feelings, but also to feel like you have some ability to control them. And so the technique I'm going to show you is called the emotional freedom technique. And uh, it utilizes acupuncture points on the body that a person will tap on. And uh, as you're tapping on these points, you're also tuning into the feeling itself. And for reasons we don't know fully, um, this procedure does help decrease the feeling and allow us to let it go. And so the types of things that might be targeted might be anxiety or fear, anger, um, even urges to self harming or destructive behaviors, bad choices we might make, urges to act. Um, and so uh, an example of one that we can use uh, for practice purposes would be uh, fear of losing one's job, okay? And so the initial part of emotional freedom technique, or EFT, is we give the feeling that we're targeting a name and uh, or a title. And so for the case of the one that we're targeting today, we'll say fears of losing my job. And once I've given it a name, I'm going to notice where I experience it in the body. Now, fear and anxiety are commonly experienced by many in the chest or in the stomach or both. And um, so I'm noticing I have this fear of losing my job. It's in my chest. And I'm going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. And uh, typically it's going to be pretty high or we wouldn't be doing this procedure. And so I'm going to say it's at an 8 or an 8.5. And so once I've done that, I'm going to start with what's called the setup. And the setup involves tapping on a point on the side of your hand, called the karate chop point, while simultaneously making this setup statement. And the statement goes something like this. Even though I have, and then you give the name of the, the concern that we're targeting, even though I have this fear of losing my job, I deeply and completely accept myself. So I'm going to say that three times while tapping on this point. Even though I have this fear of losing my job, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this fear about losing my job, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this fear about losing my job, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now, as you can see, I'm tapping with either two fingers, or you can even tap the edges, those same karate chop points together. And further, so that's the setup. We've, we've done the... Uh, statement while tapping on the karate chop point and now we're going to follow that with a tapping sequence and the sequence starts with tapping with a couple of fingers on the very crown of your head the top of the head and as I tap there I'm just going to say the the target fear of losing my job tapping maybe seven times or so the next point is on the eyebrows kind of where they kind of sort of start here in the center and we're going to tap there saying, fear of losing my job. And you can tap either with one hand or both. The following point is on the corner of the eye, on this bone ridge right here. And as you tap there, you're going to again say, fear of losing my job. And this is followed by a point under the eye, like that same bone ridge towards under the center of the eye, fear of losing my job. The next point is under the nose, fear of losing my job. 
after that it is under the chin, this indentation between the chin and the lip, fear of losing my job. The following point is at the just below the collarbone. Now your collarbone comes down from your shoulders and it sort of bends a little bit here in the center towards the sternum. And just below that bend, maybe an inch or so below, we're going to tap and we're going to again say fear of losing my job. And then the last point is about four inches below your armpits. I usually use the flat of my hand and you can uh, crisscross like this, give yourself a hug, or you could just do it this way or even like this. So I'm going to do it this way and say fear of losing my job. Now once I've completed that, that's the entire sequence. And now I'm going to once again rate the feeling. For many people, the feeling will have gone down about, you know, half often. Maybe if it was at an eight, now it's at a four. And then we can repeat the procedure, starting once again with the setup. And this time, instead of the karate chop point, and this is, this is optional, you could stay with the karate chop point, or we can mix it up a little bit. There's another point called the sore spot. If you poke around a little bit between your chest and shoulders, you can notice this point that's a little bit tender. And I usually use my thumbs and I roll around a little bit. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to repeat my phrase three times. Even though I'm still having some fear of losing my job, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still have some fear of losing my job, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still have some fear of losing my job, I deeply and completely accept myself. And once again, we'll the sequence starting at the top of the head fear of losing my job eyebrows remaining fear of losing my job side of the eye remaining fear of losing my job under the eye remaining fear of losing my job under the nose remaining fear the chin remaining fear collarbone remaining fear, and under the arm, remaining fear. As we did the first time around, we're going to again check the rating. Quite a, what you'll notice, most people will notice again that it's gone down quite a bit. Now you can repeat this sequence over and over until you get to the point where it's really minimal or non-existent. Um, and uh, usually it shouldn't take too many turns on this. But that's pretty much it. That's Emotional Freedom T Technique, or EFT. Um, I'm hoping that this is helpful to those of you who are watching. And um, again, good luck to everyone. Take good care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And um, hopefully this will be over in a safe way for all of us soon. All right. Bye.